Nah, Ransom be rapping like a dude who woke up one day and just decided he wanted to be the best rapper. Like, he got all the elite rapping boxes checked. His punchlines are some of the best in the game. Elite rhyme schemes. The wordplay be top-notch. Then he got a spotty B selection at times. Because I don't know why, but all the lyricists go through that at one point or the other. But I don't think that's going to be an issue here. He's teaming up with V-Don, who I'm not super familiar with. But he's had a lot of high-profile features. Most recently, that joint with Willie the Kid that he had earlier this year. I think his style matches Ransom's aesthetic well, and I like him a little bit more than the in-house trust producers. I think this one's gonna be nasty. Let's get to it. Alright, be done coming like that. The streets got a dangerous vibe. Too strange to describe. All I can say we share a bond from the pain we survive. Too safe for the tough rhyme. We ain't gonna stop till our names in the sky. Nah. Written on that blip. The world bad, is ours. Nigga say you reply. Not entertained by the fables and lies. Now deprioritize. Learn how to shoot before I... Uh, and the chemistry, they going back and forth. Not like 38 Fetch playing off Ransom's rhyme scheme. That's fire. I learned how to shoot before I was able to drive. Four, That's five, hard. And knives. It's enough shells in each one of these to feed a table of five. We able That's to slide. Hard. We waving that five. That's saying goodbye. Bye. Never hired no shooters. Had no faith in them guys. This Bro, they still going with the same the rhyme scheme. I kept in my briefs. The smarter you are. Pray they just now switching it up. You, speak. you resting in peace when I'm wrestling heat. That Rest on brief, brief wordplay. That was slick and subtle. I like that too. Extra unique. Whenever I invest in the death of a leech, I don't know why they mess with death me. Wow. Death coming threes. I give. That's a fire way to phrase that. Death coming threes. I give praise to leeches like a Mexican tree. Invest <laughs> the police. Every question. Hey, that's kind of hard. The only thing I like about that bar is you pronounce it leches, not leeches, but it looked like leeches. Then he said death coming three right before the tray flip. That's hard. Brief. Who blessing the streets, running the church and shoot your mama while dressed as a priest. Respect my brother. Is that saying? I heard people go back and forth using the same rhyme scheme before, but like Ransom will start it, special go to it, and then it'll go back to Ransom still using the same rhyme scheme. That's hard. You'll be laying dormant, dormant, beat your kid in front of your face. Wow. Cause you the type to raise informants. Play it cautious, <laughs> nigga. The stars on my face and pose. I'm a weed head. I burn enough trees to create a paper shortage. Pay the fortune for the Rolex. <laughs> the diamonds and faces flawless. Break the law with various villains. Willing to take the charges, eight garages filled with the finest formants, they find it warrants. This is gonna be a long reaction video, dog. This is insane. Ransom's flow right there was crazy. My fire armor. When you find a bomb, why it by alarm? That's your final warning. Get butterflies when the flight is boarding. Hundred pies in my luggage and some number five Michael Jones. Hey, that song is insane. That's one of the best songs I heard all year. Everybody put up numbers. That was like Big Three, Miami Heat, Braun, Bosch, and Wade. That was like Joe Burrow, Justin Jefferson, and Jamar Chase when they was at LSU. Nigga, that song was amazing. Beat On's production was sick. That beat had that minimal aesthetic that this lane of hip hop is used to rapping over. But despite that, it was really textured to the point where I wondered that was multiple different samples. It had multiple different layers of strings. It had this, I couldn't tell if it was a sim choir or strings, but it had that uh, in the background that gave it that real spooky feel. The drum sounded pretty dope. Then Ransom and Spech, they finna be co-defendants on a homicide case. That was some of the best chemistry I've ever witnessed from two people going Going back and forth like that. I love how they play to each other's strengths too because Ransom, he laid into those really intricate rhyme schemes. They had the same rhyme schemes, but Ransom would just pull it off more times within the same bars. And then Spech had those show stopping, haymaker punches. That song was ridiculous. This is all in. I brainstorm these hurricane sandies and spin Katrina's vivid dreamer. I like that word play. I work like I whip Farina, bricks and Tina, turned in a court engagements and quick subpoenas, paid in full of ace court engagements. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Would he ever miss the cleaners? Rip the needle. <laughs> <laughs> paid in full one of my favorite hood movies. I like that line. And it's pitch of FEMA, sick demeanor, so ain't no Miss Medea's in this arena. Nah, all four syllable when rhyme schemes. Lane, they claim it's the Jordan rules, no order bulls. For green, I leave pools of blood right in Jordan's pool. That's sort of cruel. They calling them kill them. Nigga. Nigga. The Michael Jordan, Jordan rules, and then the double entendre with the Jordan's pool, pool of blood, and then Jordan pool getting punched by Draymond Green. Nigga. Bro, they must have made this nigga in a lab. Tools, but no need for drilling. Nah. Feeling we all get screwed. You're more than food. Drill, filling, screw. Come on. Get him. Now I got the glow. Show enough from the last dragon. Back spasms. Too old to run with heat. Better ask Haslam. Super villain. Sending some shooters dressed all in black. Hey, he had the cool nigga references on that verse. He had basketball flips and he had hood movie flips. 
I ran with the shepherds, little homie fell, but he tried. Got a grand in his effort. How many do subtraction? Bullets tear through your flesh and remove a fraction. Do the math, and you'll realize a liar's do the math, and the last love. Sort of like Kobe scoring or Luca passing. You lock the door, get in your dreams. How you gonna stop this force? I'll make your lady pay for them screams. How much a holler cost? But we ain't had to take it. Pay for them screams. How much a dog? It landed on Fraser's beard. Yes. I am the blade that class used to slay the bear. They say if you raise a gun, you was raised in fear. It's hard to say ransom on one, cause ransom always rap like that. But this is a lot more aggressive than his last album. Like on his last joint, he was coming off as more of an OG, giving that street knowledge, dropping gems. Here, every bar is hard hitting, brutal, gruesome. And then his delivery is just as aggressive. The way that he's using his rhyme schemes, giving every line such a stop start feel, is making everything feel a lot more sharp. And then to have such clever wordplay laced through it, that's insane. Another fire, really textured beat from V Don. This time playing with some keys, but they were reverbed out and they felt distant and made the beat feel really dark. Only thing in there is I don't know why they put Ido on there to do the chorus. I think Ransom could have did that himself. And I don't know if Ido's on Ransom's level, but he definitely good enough to have a verse on there. And what a tough song, really tough song. This is Blissful Agony. I think V Don gonna get a lot more collaborations after this project. He's already working with some high caliber artists. I'm this generation's Christopher Wallace. I'm this Sean Carter. A Najee Jones for those who's missing their fathers. Not an artist who gon' switch to a vlogger. A meticulous martyr. Music is larger, but it's missing nostalgia. Bringing that. Nah, now you're pulling out the five syllables on this. In my opinion, three syllables kind of the gold standard for if you're gonna call yourself a lyricist. Four is really impressive. Five is Doom is shedding a tear. Back flipping the karma for those addicted to trauma. I flow as vicious as Dama. My soul's been dipped in the armor. I'm known for flipping on Tondras. You should listen to Sandra. I'm so much Bro, and he's only between each five syllable rhyme schemes, he only putting like two syllables on there. So in the bar with 13 syllables in it, 10 of them rhyme. That's ridiculous. Evil as Reagan with some bricks from the Contras. Life is a blessing. Let's stick to this mantra. My renditions are haunting. Thinking out loud got you missing your sponsors. I've been killing them all. Sinister thoughts. When you gotta play this game you love with no feelings involved. Say they dropping jewels. That same shit from the middle of malls. By the time you find your heroes fake, it's no villains to call. Yo, JR is spitting. Try to box me in. I'm Ray Leonard with bars. <laughs> this I never needed a pencil to draw. Try that need a pencil to draw bar is sick. I like that box me in line too. Admittedly, I heard boxing, box me in flips before, but the way he did it was creative in my opinion. Little Paul, I see a thread, it can't stitch to this cloth. We cut different like scissors for gauze. Had me marked for death, now understand I'm all the kill. We cut different like scissors for gauze. <laughs> That's fire. They do be cutting different. It's like a butter knife or scissors. I don't get it, but that's funny. Mr. That nigga must have been to the doctor recently. Oh, can't front cause some situations. <laughs> or maybe his girl a phlebotomist. Ain't close, but ain't lit the cigars. Al Gore, deal with all my vices. I done found flaws, astound frauds. Let them get a whiff of these profound thoughts. I would normally praise this rhyme scheme a lot if what Ransom and JR did wasn't ridiculous. But the way he's using this two syllable rhyme scheme, he's using it at the end of the bar and then he started the next line with it. So it's kind of like a little pseudo four syllable rhyme scheme. When I sound off, the mission wasn't vicious till I found cause sadistic with these wishes like I'm foul call. Oh, no, 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 I'm finna praise it. He's floating right now. In fact, it's at my fingertips. And when it's time to answer for my wrongs, I ain't gonna plead the fifth. If you need me on your team, shit, that's an easy pick. My fleet equipped. We setting rooms on fire like Stevie Nicks. Hey, he borrowed out the last couple of lines. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie. When I looked on the features list and saw JR and Mass Squabbles, I'm not familiar with Mass Squabbles at all. And JR, I think he's good, but I didn't think he's nowhere near Ransom's level. So I ain't really expecting much, but they really surpassed my expectations. Now, that being said, Ransom had the best verse. He just a different animal. But JR love Earth on his verse. Now, all the JR verses I've heard were features, but he hasn't been that intricate with his rhyme schemes from what I can recall. And he has some dope, subtle wordplay laced throughout all his lines, too. He just matched fire with fire compared to Ransom's verse. And then Matt Squabbles, I thought his rhyme scenes were impressive. Now, 
JR and Ransom were doing some unhuman stuff, but as the verse progressed from Mad Squabbles, it just got better and better. And then I added that on those last couple of lines. He started throwing a little wordplay in there too. Them niggas went off. v Don decided to brighten the beat up a little bit. I don't like this beat as much as I like All In and Hitless. I thought those beats were phenomenal. And I thought this one was good. If I had to be nitpicky, I'd say the way that it's looped is a little harsh, but I do like the sample itself. Let's get in the Long Wolf. Nah. I'm not exactly an OG, but it's the older me that stops me from being an old me. I sold D, no slow leaks. I was locking these streets up. Don't creep up. Oh, this cadence is tough too, to dog. Up. Just keep up. Still waiting for Poppy to please us. ASAP, don't be the type to be knocking a re up. I sleep rough with one eye open. Dog, bro, bro. My nigga. This is insane. He was talking he wanted to do the real quick, do it ASAP. Don't be knocking the re up, knocking Rihanna up like ASAP. Bro, this nigga rapping like he got the sliders up. God dang. With one eye open, pacing and breathing, one in a chamber. Them screams is just in case I was dreaming. I touched sheep, you gotta kill off the wolves. God but if dang. the sheep survive, then who gon' keep all the wool? In order to kill a wolf, <laughs> it's gonna take other wolves. But doesn't really matter if chaos is your ladder. To protect this, you'll learn your reflection. Ah, no need for your affection, cuz most temporary homies that teach you permanent lessons. I'm not concerned with your questions. Guess the sheep is always let us pray. God is with us predators. That's why you gotta let us pray. My rivals ain't competitors. <laughs> Just praying for a better. That's tough. People have done pray, pray flips, but the way he set that one up with the sheep imagery in the chorus, and then he expounded on that leading up to that bar, that's tough. No stress to pain, use it as a step ladder. Cross your old step gather. I'm just trying to score more. Up 30 on the scoreboard. Don't listen to the ref's chatter. Shoot three and then I walk off like the random maybe step rather. Step past you, bless actors. I like no that. Wolves, look the whole best posture. Always put your best foot forward, get your respect faster. Hey, V Don continue to impress me. That synth that drove the melody, that's something that's kind of a staple for Ransom. I think you can get him into trouble a little bit because sometimes it can sound dated if you don't throw enough layers on it. But V Don dress it up really nice for another really texture beat bro ransom rapping at this point man we can cut the video short and ain't gonna be too much else to say the rhyme schemes top notch second to nine and then these are battle rap caliber punches that asap rocky rihanna that would shake a whole room if he said that in a rap battle dude is on one right now this is calm before the storm Oh, these niggas really had some calm before the storm. I was like, when this nigga gonna start rapping? <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was definitely calm. This is the most dreadful symphony. This is the storm. It would be raining. These niggas trying to build a cinematic experience. You just glance over scripts and never know the plot. So many occupied with designer clothes or they hoes and ops. Rappers who couldn't load a Glock but grow some locks and tell you that you ain't shit because you sold some rocks. Then party with yeah. the same nigga who sold some rocks. Hey, Lee J. Cole alone. <laughs> My abilities to read a room is the reason that I stay at home a lot. I've grown a lot. You can't That's paint tough. a perfect picture in Photoshop. Too slow to crop. That's why I look mm -hmm. side to side when I stroll a block. That's how my brother born did it. Tormented. You adopted the dog when we was born in it. Scorned yeah. It. I came out the booth. It looked like a skull. Uh, you adopted the dog. We was born in it. Talking. Horrific. Them contracts lying. They put their claws in it. So forfeited. Fuck all critics. Giants don't involve midgets. Yeah, that's a little tough. God dang. I'm a critic. 50 Cent, boys, what'd he say F me for? Now them thoughts don't comfort me. Not when I almost lost my life. Out of town in South Carolina, sold all the Charleston white. But I ain't never lost my sight. <laughs> hey, that Charleston white line is different. Charleston white, that dude who, I actually don't really know why he's famous, but he be critiquing all the rappers and he be critiquing all the rappers who promote street life. And so that played into when he was talking about F the critics. And then it was like an F you to that because he was saying he was in South Carolina selling Charleston white. Charleston, South Carolina, that's tough. They do the people. Mama said it don't grow on trees but i see the roots of evil why was we even selling that's dope? tough that that's tough that's tough it don't grow on trees money don't grow on trees i see the roots of nigga the needle too illegal most people resent the things that they do to please you who was equal I've been he switched back to a four syllable rhyme scheme but i like the fact that this was i think the first time he was really using three syllables on that first half of this verse but once again they were so rapid fire and back to back that nearly every syllable's rhyming each line Y'all read me. I passed all the limitations that y'all gave me. Every scab is a movie, truly. Just call me Scarsese. What God is <laughs> Scarsese. Bro, bro, relax. Relax. 
Go easy on them. In space, I'm placed out in Mars, baby. You all crazy. Look, nigga, it's not how good you've been doing. It's how long you've been doing good, nigga. Hood, nigga, was placed like in these it. circumstances, but earn my chances. Not entitled to think that every question deserves the answer. Ooh, bro, what is going on, dog? What is going on? Bro, he is ODing. Bro, at this point, who made this nigga mad? What is he trying to prove? Once again, master class on manipulating syllables and cadence and rhyme scheme. But then, dog, that was just a ridiculous amount of really high level punches. I mean, it's at the point where how am I even gonna chop this video up? I'm gonna have to put the whole song in it because every song was a bar. Ooh, one of the best songs of the year. If you a punchline fan, that might be your best song. That be definitely warranted having an interlude for it. I'm just really impressed with how he's giving this minimal sound with these beats with elements that aren't minimal. The violin sounded great, and then I love the vocals that he added at the end. Bro, this is different. This is toxic love. Let me talk to you real quick, homeboy. Talk to us. These niggas kick you when your back turn, but I always tell you who you fighting on. Why you walking with your chest set? I like that line. The man victimize another pawn. Fuck who you would have been, cause I'm on the outside but looking in. They say that it's hell when the person you are meets the person you actually could have been. This flow is dope. He definitely dialed back the rhyme scenes a little bit compared to all the other songs. But I think he making up for it with the cadence of this pocket that he in right now. You gonna tell your man I love you, nigga? Love you. He gonna tell you that I love you more. Yeah. You turn your back, he pull a fucking trigger. Black. All because a nigga, what was yours? <sighs> I, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I definitely thought this was gonna be about a girl. <laughs> of course not. Never happens when the love is lost. So when did we fall out? Should the biggest winner take the summers off? Or you wanna call the Biggest winners take the summers off, that's the tough. Off. In front of a large crowd, you can find the thing that you want the most are things that you would do best without. Save your breath, it ain't best to shout, cause I ain't taking no less amount. I only fight for what I deserve. I've heard, heard him use this flow before. All right, well, speaking of love, I don't love that song. I think it's the lightest one on this project. I do appreciate a couple of different aspects about it. One, I think Ransom really pushed the envelope for himself. He got into some, I wouldn't necessarily call them mainstream flows, but they're more of those catchier flows. I kind of liked it at first, and I thought his flows were a little bit better on his first verse. But then at a certain point, it's like, give me the syllables back. But it's good to see artists push themselves a little bit. I do definitely like the content. Objectively, I like that concept of fake love in the streets. For the beat, I love some of the elements, but I don't like how everything came together. I think that vocal sample sounded beautiful. I think it clashed a lot with both that bass line and he used 808 drums. Not that thumping 808, but the snare was an 808. And I think that kick was an 808. Try to see what they were going for because wrestling used some more catchier flows, but it wasn't the best song, especially compared to that flamethrower, which was the first six songs on here. But it wasn't bad. This is Burning Bridges. The best actors get the best parts. Would you rather be accurate or be less harsh? Don't be close minded someday. We all should address thoughts. Pressure I love this diamond, bass line. So you should probably expect for less. What exactly is you blessed for? When you say you next, what exactly is you next for? Cliche rhetoric. I never have respect right for. You never dropped a chip in your circle. So why you playing connect for? <laughs> and now they calling him prodigy. Cause he could change. Uh, uh, no, that's different, dog. You're not dropping the circles in your square. So why you playing the connect, connect for? Because you dropped the little circles, but you got those squares in your circle still. You ain't kick them out the click. Come on, man. Like Tim Donaghy, a grim odyssey. I don't sing these hymns modestly. Him honestly. Top three logically, like no mythologies. I'm a level above, a Facts. level above. About 30 levels above any level you was. You would have to mimic my style for the level of budge and still couldn't level it up. With me, there's a level of trust. I like him playing with that level wordplay. I never meant to serve evil. I was on a curb feeble. Movie with the worst sequel. Filling up my first needle. I ain't never learned legal. Never let the word cheat you. I don't want to hurt no more. I love this start and stop flow. That's I tough. Ooh, that's tough. That's one of those misdirection punches where you think the bars go on one way, then it go in a completely different direction. Where he said, I don't want to hurt no more. Typically, when people said that, that means like they don't want to feel this pain that they're going through. But then the next line was, but hurt people hurt people. So it flipped that original bar on his head. So when he was saying, I don't want to hurt no more, so I don't want to cause harm to other people anymore. That's sick. For me, the side eye, acting like we weren't equal. Chaos. The side eye weren't equal because, like, not equal sign is like the eye itself for the eye slanted. I see what you did there. You don't know 
when someone that you're selling dope to is going to try to get you. Man, on top of just the pure rapping, he's also showing mastery with his delivery. I like how he switches up his flow depending on what the topic matter is at that time. Like, while I didn't love when he was using those two-syllable rhymes at the beginning of the verse, the pace at which he was spitting, it had you hanging on to every word, which was important because of the content focus of him trying to give you those jewels and knowledge. So I didn't love this verse as much as I love some of the other verses on here, but as soon as he got to that connect four line, Niggas started spazzing from there on. That stop start flow was fire. He had several really crafty punches. The connect four itself was amazing. I like that song overall. Pretty good beat from V Done. Not the craziest on this album, but it was good. This is Chaotic Ceremony. Shit about to get real, real, real fast. It's another 808 snare, but I think it fits this beat a lot better than it did on Toxic you know Love. Hey, he don't talk a lot, but he be talking. Keep up. They done told me I was nothing, but I made it something. What we really speaking about? Yeah. We them niggas, niggas read about. Uh -huh. The corner jumping, I'ma read the route. Woo. Receive a bullet if you reaching out. I got a chopper sounding like the speakers in a Puerto Rican house. I got a block of powder for the least amount. <laughs> That line's so stupid. Puerto Ricans do be talking fast though. Why would you agree to leave him out? Why is you a G on these accounts? But when it's live, niggas. He's effing up this East Side. He got a three syllable using it at the end of the verse, but he's just playing with it all throughout the middle of the bar. Yeah. I'd rather had a chair than leak it out. Cause if the map is clear, it evens out. Yes. We them niggas ain't no need for clout. You want attention, I'm gonna make a mention. Put you in the tension. That's because the principles made okay, me nice a legend. Coming it. from a peasant. Now I'm independent. Diamonds independent. I wasn't defended. Now I'm a descendant of niggas who meant it. My sins is repented. My spirit ascended. Spazzing. You hear it is splendid. Niggas appear and offended. Make sure you hear in attendance. How put that spirit in the menace? Ugh, it's an onslaught. It's an onslaught. I don't know where Rans was trying to prove, but he done switched up the flow again. This time, I think this was his best flow switch up that he had. That rapid fire, borderline double time flow, it, along with the three syllable plus all of the internal rhymes and alliterations that he had with that E sound. Another ridiculous performance of manipulating syllables and flows. Nigga is on one. This is short notice. Niggas often hate when it's suitable. You gotta watch for those who are off for the pay for funerals. They probably had your son in the basement, torturing Jason by forcing blades in his cuticles. You knew it too. But mm. no, if they cross the grain, you can do it too. Call mm. me that money that's due to you. Cause I've been getting paper since P was screaming out hootie who. Now who is you? <laughs> a relevant gentleman. I know this news like to that. you, but if you're always holding them down, then how they gonna move up? Yeah, I know that the truth sucks, but I'm just giving you the truth. Move up. That's fine. It'd be your friend, you're catching his boxes inside your wifey's crib, eating your baby's fruit cups. So, I'm a straight <laughs> shoot, no fake maneuvers, you know that. So how y'all spelling go to the wrong nigga to go at? Yeah, every I know they don't like spelling bars, but that one was tough. Game with passion, black interest, Mercedes back in windows, black when we get close Plan enough with to the same from clashing, pull it to your favorite fashion, wish your deal, just asking, it's time to negotiate, gotta keep my pitch higher than baby Jackson, nigga, it's like <laughs> this is the Fast, tough, the vocal pitch, and then a negotiation pitch, that's niggas tough. Niggas feel superstitious, hear niggas dying sequence, clown on a familiar, won't disguise your features, sometimes I eyes deceive us, all my shines are Jesus for the non-believers. Nah, nigga, keep rapping. Somebody be rapping on this. As much as I love that beat, they should have been rapping on that outro beat. That was hard. That sample was amazing. And maybe that was the same sample. They were just revealing what the sample was. But regardless. Yeah, I love Ransom's verse. I think he had the better verse out of the two. Lloyd Banks had really strong rhyme schemes. It's just Ransom, the way that he's rapping right now. Yeah, I think his rhyme schemes were better than Lloyd Banks by a tiny bit, but the level of punches that he did with his was crazy. And that's saying a lot, because I think Lloyd Banks is one of the best rappers right now as well. I think he's easily top 20 active. It's just Ransom is somewhere in the top five. I will say one more thing about Banks, and this is the issue with some of his own songs. His voice gets lost in the mix really, really easy. I think they got to find some different way to mix him in, because it's noticeably harder to hear him rapping than anybody else on this song. But still, I think this was dope chemistry from Ransom and Banks. Whenever they're on a song together, it slaps. Matter of fact, Ransom's Seven Deadly Sins album that had that feature with Lloyd Banks, that's kind of what put Lloyd Banks on my radar. Like, 
yo, this ain't the same nigga who used to rap in G-Unit. This nigga is spitting, and he ain't turned back since then. Also, just hearing this chemistry, I think Lloyd Banks and V-Dunn would sound amazing on an album together. I think their styles mesh well. Plus, I don't love all the production on Lloyd Banks' last two albums. It wasn't bad or nothing, but I just think V-Dunn is really good and would be complimentary. But yeah, a tough song, tough feature. Let's end this thing out with Late Nights, Early Mornings. What little life I had, bet your ass I lived it enormous I passed the limits of all this The crack inflicted informants The traps and littered apartments You lack this nigga Yeah, MF Doom up there bumping this right now That's a seven syllable rhyme scheme That's crazy Yo, the streets gave him a cheat code Success knocks at your door But most people look through the peephole That's a sign that <laughs> I you like that. Yeah. You know what's at stake when it's time to reload uh -huh. When peace is too rare, just make sure the beef's cold <laughs> Who's pretend? Cause that's what most people do They don't see it through That's why you won't believe this view Toast a life on a sea of blue Frozen nice on the sweetest fruits No advice if you need the truth nah. Man, and that's a slanted seven or eight I start counting out the five That's crazy I told Tom Four, send me mine before you release the shoot. <laughs> Beat on, told me, chill out, Duffu. This ain't yeah, the beat to use. I told that nigga I don't use beats. I put the beats to use. Nah, V Don was on or something. This is a light beat compared to most of the rest. You should have listened to V Don. <laughs> Uh -huh. He a shoot back of the scully, buddy. You leak the truth, but I don't need no violence on these violins. Good against my evils. Who's deciding on which side? I like that. I don't need these violins on this violence. That nigga love him some violins though. On these violins, good against my evil. Who's deciding on which side of win? Yeah. yeah, Ransom ended the clip on us on that one. Only thing I didn't like on that one was the beat. Ransom loved them violins, and I didn't think that beat sounded that good. Matter of fact. All them trust niggas love violins. I say all them trust niggas. <laughs> Shay Noir like them too. So I guess that's all them trust niggas. But the rapping was OD. The seven syllable rhyme schemes, that's that's ridiculous. And he had a lot of really clever punches mixed in there too. Man, overall with this album, man, I think Ransom was the best artist who dropped this year who didn't have an album in my top 25. I had both No Rest for the Wicked and This Life Made Me right outside my top 25. Now, admittedly, that didn't really have much to do with him. That was because I didn't like the production on either one of those that much. He got him a top 25 album of the year for sure on this one. Rap-wise, it's really like a three-man race between Rob Marcy, Black Thought, Ransom. I guess you can throw Jid in there too on Bar for Bar Best Albums of the Year. You just not supposed to be able to put syllables together back to back like that and still have ridiculous room shaking haymaker punches back to back and then this is the best production that he's rapped on since his project with big ghost i don't think the album was perfect even though rap wise it was close to it i think toxic love was slightly below the rest of the songs but it wasn't bad by any means i thought the production was pretty dope he had a couple of beats that i didn't absolutely love and i think it was because he was trying to play into ransom style that violin synth heavy style a little bit too much but i really love what i heard from him as far as those really layered beats the darker the beats the better they were in my opinion i love his use of drums he switched them up a good little bit which for this lane of rap is dope hearing that bit of versatility i'm actually surprised by how well the features did here i expected a lot from lloyd and he delivered i also expected a lot from 38 but he exceeded my expectations was not expecting that back and forth between them that hit list one of the best songs of the year then jr and mad squabbles bro them niggas was rapping like they was trying to get a 10-day contract <laughs> Them niggas try to go to the lead with their performances. They were tough. All in, one of the better projects of the year. I don't know what Ransom got to do to submit himself as a top one, two, or three rapper. And niggas showing and proving every single time he drops. This was great.